Sales invoices help you keep track of what your customers purchase from you, how much they owe you, and when a payment is due. You can print invoices to send to your customers, or email invoices to them directly from accounting. To begin entering a sales invoice, from the Sales menu, select Sales Invoices. Then, select New Invoice. Choose the customer to invoice. To save time, begin typing a name and accounting will narrow down the list. If you do not have a contact record for your customer, at the bottom of the Customer drop-down list, select Add Customer to create one. The invoice date defaults to the current date. This should be the date the invoice was issued, so change it if necessary. Accounting then automatically calculates the due date based on the credit terms you've set for the customer, or if you haven't set any, based on the credit terms in your default settings. Again, you can change this here if you need to. A reference number, such as a purchase order number, is optional. Accounting automatically completes the address details from the customer record. If the customer record does not include an address, you'll need to enter one manually by selecting Add a main address. By default, the delivery address is the same as the main address. If you want to change this, select the delivery address and then choose a different address or select Custom to manually enter one. Next, select the product or service for which you're invoicing. You can type the name or the code of the item to narrow down your search. If you don't have a record for the product or service, select Create Item to add one. Or, alternatively, simply enter a description of what you're selling and the ledger account to which to apply the sale. For recorded items, Accounting pulls in the description and pricing information from the product or service record, ready for you to add the quantity of items sold. For stock items, an information icon shows the number of items you have in stock, and Accounting will warn you if you include more items in the invoice than you have in stock. Apply a discount if necessary, and check the tax rate for the sale. The tax amount is calculated automatically based on the unit price and the selected tax rate. The total is the overall total for the line. If you've set up analysis types, click the three dots and choose the analysis type to which you want to allocate the sale. Repeat these steps to add items to the invoice. If there's a shipping charge, Enter the amount and choose the relevant tax rate. You can add comments and notes to the invoice and update the terms and conditions that are taken from the default invoice settings if you need to. To save the invoice as a draft invoice, select the Save as Draft Invoice checkbox before selecting Save. In addition to simply saving the invoice in the system, you can select to email it to the customer print it, or to save it and open a new blank invoice. For further information and in-depth courses, visit Sage University at sageu.com. If you have any questions or need guidance, visit the Sage Support Resource Centre at sage.com forward slash resources, where you can ask the community, search the knowledge base, or get in touch with us by chat.